ready to take on the world. <laughs> Paul's impressive streak of being his own worst enemy continues today, folks, because um, he's, the, he's the captain of bad decision making, the USS Terrible Knights. The um... <laughs> yeah, um, every October, Brad, I watch the baseball playoffs, and um, as it escalates into the World Series. You know, the late nights start adding up. And these are not not late nights partying. I mean, I took mm -hmm. a nap. And I think it was in the second inning. I mean, and I actually, my wife was making fun of me, but I was like, you know, this is going to help me stay up for the whole game. So it's probably a good thing. It was a good game. But, you know, I usually get up around 6, maybe, 6.30 at the latest. I got up at, um, it was 8 today. Wow. Yeah. How are you feeling about those decisions? Was it worthwhile? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Just, I don't know. Yeah. How about you? Uh, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm chipper. I'm awake, waiting for the rain. I think it's going to rain all day. Plus, I got to go to the gym this morning, you know, and I, mm -hmm. I can already tell that's going to be the most lackluster effort of all time. Well, um, you know what else is a good game, Paul? Mm -mm. Apparently Call of Duty had a uh, impressive opening. It was like $600 million over three days, which is oh, wow. it's, it's not, a, not a minor chunk of change. Yeah, it deserves it. Like I said yesterday, I think um, it, it's a, it's a great game. It's a great game. I, you know, my son has kind of moved on to games like Fortnite and mm -hmm. uh, and some, you know, Apex Legends, et cetera. <clears throat> um, I think I I feel like he's probably played most of the recent Call of Duty games, but you know that was kind of like a big tradition for us, you know. So mm -hmm. on the day that the game launched, I that morning, I texted him a picture of the screen and I was like thinking of you, you know. And he had said something like, oh, "I was actually thinking about uh, getting this game because some of my friends are playing it, but whatever." Mm -hmm. So Saturday morning after the I finally played the single player experience part of it. I was like, man, this is actually, this game is really solid, you know? Yeah. So I ended up just buying it for him. I was like, you got it. And he's like, thanks. He goes, I literally was just about to buy this. He's like, everyone I know is playing this now all of a sudden. And that's, this is the crucial market, Brad, right? Mm -hmm. Like these 21 year old types, like the, that's who you want to snag, you know, Get the teenagers. I, young. Yeah. I think that's a big part of the appeal. Uh, well, a, a, a big part of Fortnite success is it's, uh, it's not people like me, mm. you know, it's people like my son. So anyway, yeah, I'm not surprised. It, it, it's a great game. Like Call of Duty always, always does well, but this is actually a really good game. Yeah. And uh, PlayStation 4, 103 million units. Uh, is it shipped mm -hmm. or so sold, I guess? Sold. So this is sold. Sony doesn't play the ship into the uh, channel game. Okay. They actually, these are sold to consumers. Yeah. Um, that, which is... Uh, was not the case with Microsoft, by the way, back mm -hmm. when they used to actually provide sales. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, <clears throat> I mean, it'll be sold to someone eventually, you know. It's uh, the, what's the opposite of paying it forward? Because that's what that is. Um, paying it now, like, <laughs> yeah, it's like cashing uh, out, counting your chickens early, kind of thing. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, yes, that is two consumers. So, uh, second most popular or most best-selling uh, console of all time after the original PlayStation, and it just surpassed the PlayStation Two. Mm -hmm. Um, just as a historical an uh, antidote, <laughs> anecdote, Oof, a little tired here. Um, well, there's a poisonous, you know, <laughs> feels like it, creatures under us. We need antidote. Uh, it's something in my contact. I think that's something is sleep. Um, <laughs> uh, the PlayStation three, uh, is thus the least well selling, best selling, uh, PlayStation console. It, I don't remember the exact number cause it got, it, it's they probably shipped a few every once in a while, um, but it's somewhere just south or just around 90 million units, right? Mm. And the thing that was interesting about that generation is that uh, the Xbox 360 was actually outselling the PlayStation 3 for virtually its entire lifetime. Uh, and of course, the Wii was number one with a bullet. I mean, it was um, it was it outsold those two by a wide margin. Yeah, but very late in the game, and you might argue after it stopped mattering, um, the PlayStation 3 actually surpassed the the Xbox 360. And uh, that's it's just weird. It's it's too bad for Microsoft in a way um, because they they made improvements, big improvements uh, in those two generations of consoles, mm -hmm. and then this current generation, of course, has been a huge step back from a 
from a unit sold perspective. I, I think the Xbox One is fantastic, but obviously things have gone in a different direction. A Sony direction. Yeah. Yeah. That's what happens. Do you know people with PlayStation 4? I, I will say, you know, again, I'm, I, I'm maybe not the best um, mm-hmm. person for this, but I, I don't, it, it's, it's weird to me how well this thing has sold. Like, I don't feel, I, I don't, I don't know. I just don't, I, I, this is just personal experience, but I don't feel like I know a lot of people that have these things, even people who are like my, um, my nephews, for example, all have Xboxes. I, I, I don't know what to make of this. Yeah, I mean, it's well, it's just people who had an old PlayStation. But I mean, if the last gen didn't sell that yeah. well and sold ninety million, um, to have sold a hundred and three ish, that's basically those people just replacing it, and then a Plus, few extras. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It just seems like that should have happened to Microsoft too. Mm-hmm. You know. And actually, I go back, I just wrote about this on Monday, but when I go back to um, my original kind of opinions about these consoles, the Xbox One and the PS4, Mm -hmm. uh, Sony really uh, was not a company I don't think that anyone should have trusted at the time, certainly. And um, Microsoft fans, to me, seem very rabid and and passionate and loyal. And, um, you know, there were some marketing mistakes right up front, like Submarine Comet that that Don Matrick made, and and then he was gone. And then... uh, (laughs) You know, force for bundling the Connect was a huge mistake, making it so expensive. But I, I just don't, you know. So what? They fixed it. Like, why wouldn't? Why would that dog them to this day? But it seems like it kind of has. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, I did a finally got it all. It, it's surprisingly hard to record playing on XCloud. Like surprisingly hard. Yeah. Mostly- um, you know what though? So you're using a OnePlus phone, right? So yeah. Um, I don't know if that one has it, but OnePlus does have a screen recording. Well, it's probably DRM protected though. Yeah. Well, even that, that doesn't really benefit because it's like, okay, here's me playing a game like that. What you need is the controller input and the game because yeah. otherwise it's just you watching me play a game, but you can't actually see if there's any, you can't even, so right, like, right, right, so like right. Getting right. the camera set up so I could actually. Record. So you need like an over-the-shoulder kind of shot or something where I you a, can... I had a camera under my <laughs> neck here, and I had, like, yeah. you have to reach like around. <laughs> but the other thing, too, is um, getting the audio so you can kind of, like, actually just listen to the gameplay. Like, you can't mm-hmm. breathe because it's right yes. on the camera. Um, but I got... I played, actually, several games, and mm-hmm. surprisingly, the last game I played, playing Halo 5, I, I mm-hmm. had 15 kills and 13 deaths on xCloud, which right. is... All right, so I, I mean, I did, I'm sorry, this is, so you posted this video. Yeah. Um, I, I've not watched it, I apologize. But um, what has been your experience latency-wise? Well, it, it's actually been pretty dang good. So the interesting yeah. thing, and I'll be curious to see if you pick up on this too. Mm-hmm. For me, when I'm pressing like the buttons, the A, the B, X, and Y, and triggers and all that, it feels instantaneous. The latency actually yeah. feels with the analog sticks. That's oh, where I notice it more than okay. anywhere else. But other So like a movement type thing. Yeah. Usually in those yep. games. That's, that's yeah. The, I've been uh, surprised at how good the latency is, uh, mm-hmm. or how I guess you would say how there is no latency. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. I mean, it, you know, you don't really notice it. I noticed latency. I think we talked about this probably at the time when this first came up. Like, um, and and I've mentioned my desire to put Ethernet in here now. I mean, Wi-Fi, Call of Duty, uh, especially the last game. Um, I noticed that a lot, and it's that. Mm-hmm classic first person shooter thing where you've safely go, you know gone behind a, an obstruction and then you flop down dead because the guy shot you mm-hmm. before you got there for, from his perspective and so that kind of mix you know mix up between the two perspectives is is the embodiment of, oh, of, of latency second. sorry i don't know how we're going to transition this but i was really interrupted by things to be talked about later but we're mm-hmm. back like so just ignore that whole like chop segment thing where i cut paul off and yeah you know. basically the jehovah witnesses came to his door and brad took some literature he's considering <laughs> some life changes that is that is in fact one way to describe it <laughs> uh, oh well i don't even know what we were talking about i'm all riled late, up late see something something it doesn't matter yeah anyways <clears throat> xcloud good show promise yeah. Um, yeah. anyway, so here's another fun little thing that happened to me and I, I think I've solved it, but I don't know how I'm going to unsolve it because I'm going to have to at some point. So yeah. on the 
29th, so yesterday in the morning, I installed an update. It was a .NET something or other update. I wait. Doesn't it seem like there are a lot of those all of a sudden? Yes. I, I, I ver Because of the programming stuff I was doing, I've been doing recently, I actually mm -hmm. thought to myself a couple weeks back, you know, you used to uh, check for updates on like Windows 7 or Windows XP or whatever, and there would be like .NET framework updates all over the place. And they would they were always like really long to install. You'd have to reboot after they were done. And then there would be like another one. And there were different versions of .NET. Yeah. So like, and that used to be like a huge problem. All of a sudden past month or less that has been happening on windows 10 mm -hmm. right i mean you've, you've noticed this right like yeah. the dot oh, yeah. well, updates i noticed it because it, it broke my box upstairs it would not so after this install happened i could not get it to come out of sleep at all <laughs> it, the, right. mo the monitor would no longer respond and my keyboard it was almost like i don't know how to describe it but the keyboard my keyboard is backlit and so I could tell every time my computer would be on, but my keyboard right. would not be backlit and the monitor would not respond. And I had to hard shut it down. And this happened like three or four times. And so mm -hmm. I looked at the update that was installed. And conveniently, if you go into programs and features, you can't actually uninstall this single update for reasons I don't understand. Right. But what I did do was I just turned off .NET, the feature pack or whatever it is. Um, in the, funny. And, and it, it fixed my problem instantly. So I know that that, KB file is the problem. So now I got to figure out how I'm going to do this. I I'm going to run into an application that needs the .NET framework sooner or later. And mm -hmm. I, I can't re-enable it because it, it bricks my, what well, doesn't brick, but it doesn't allow my machine to come back um, from a sleep state. You know what? Uh, see, now I'm wondering, <laughs> I just troubleshooting in my head, a yeah. slightly sleepy state, um, which honestly is sometimes when things come to you. Mm -hmm. My dot my net dot net problem might be self inflicted. I have been well. I, I, when I say this, you'll I think you'll probably agree. This is probably what it is. Uh, of course, I've been I've been enabling the dot net programming workloads in Visual Studio lately. Like, that's something I hadn't been doing previously because I was using older versions of like desktop apps and stuff. Um, that might be tied to why I'm seeing it more and on mm -hmm. multiple machines because I put Visual Studio on multiple you know machines so. I'll just throw that out as a possibility. Um, it's nice to be able to correct myself rather than have someone else do it for a change. Um, wow. But I think, Look I bet that, that, I, that mm. might be it. That might actually be it. Anywho, I'm sorry for your problems. I uh, certainly can't well, relate. I mean, it's fixed. I mean, it, let, let me qualify mm -hmm. that. It successfully woke up from uh, a sleep state once today already. And it had not done that <laughs> the right. minute after I had installed that update. So. Mine still has little problems. I just know I just looked at updates because you were talking about it, mm -hmm. and I have a cumulative update I haven't installed apparently on this computer. But last night while we were watching the game out there, um, this computer was doing something it it had done once in the past where it's in a dark office, so all the lights are off, mm -hmm. and we're, I'm sitting facing this you know facing this direction, and I can see the room light up a little bit because obviously the screen has come on. And then when no one hits any keys, the screen, you know, goes back to sleep, yeah. which it should when it's on like the lock screen or whatever. And then a minute, two minutes, five minutes, whatever goes by. And then the light comes on again. And of course, you know, it's catching my eye and it happened three or four times. So I finally just walked in here and I turned off the monitor, but it, it was doing some kind of weird, I don't know what you call that. Uh, not, it's probably not sleeping properly, much mm -hmm. like myself. Um, it's mimicking its owner's behavior. I don't know. So computers are good. They they work great. I don't know why yeah. anyone complains. They're fine, I think. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. You got anything else today, Mister Sleepy? <laughs> um. Well, well, we're all off schedule here. So, and uh, not just because of the World Series. So yesterday we did win Woods Weekly. I'm planning on doing Andrew's show uh, what the tech today, unless he's texting me right now to tell me he's still sick. Mm -hmm. That will occur at one. Um. I mentioned yesterday I wasn't going to do Ask Paul on Friday, but actually now I'm thinking maybe I can just do it early. So I might post it late today and then do it Thursday, Friday morning. So I don't know. Maybe I'll still do it. Probably should have just kept my mouth shut. I don't know what I'm doing. Kind of the par for the course, right? That wraps up for today, everybody. Today we had Sleepy, so maybe, maybe tomorrow we'll have Bashful or Grumpy uh, show up on the <laughs> podcast. So have yourselves a wonderful, what is today, Wednesday? Yeah. Of course, it was my idea to do this show early. I'm so stupid. <laughs> <laughs>